Hi Aquarius, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm going to do your July 2017 reading now. Whatever is meant to come out will come out. And um, I thank you for your patience. I appreciate that. If you'd like to book a personal reading, you can send me an email via the link below. And please state your um, sun sign when you request the reading. Um, yeah, so this is for Aquarius, July 2017. What do you have for Aquarius? You see that one jumped right out and flipped over. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <laughs> Came fast. Woo. Here we go again. If I push pause or stop, it will make your video take that much longer to download. So I, you know, just work through it and whatever you hear, you hear. Um, it's just the way it is. I don't care if it's professional. I'm not looking for it to be professional. I'm whatever. I work from my home and I like it this way by myself. Nobody telling me what to do. Nobody running the camera but me. And I did not go to camera school. <laughs> I don't even know if that's what you call it. <laughs> Photography? Yeah, that's what you call it. Hell, I don't even think they had that when I was in school. <laughs> but anyway, we'll get back to you now. Aquarius, July 2015. Looks like it's a pretty, you know, rocky road at the beginning of the month. Mm -hmm. What is your intuition telling you, Aquarius? Right now, what pops into your head when I mention intuition? I mean, what, what comes to mind when I mention that? What's What, what are your... Thoughts telling you. And excuse me if I hit pause. Like I said, the downloading time will be like a double. <sighs> Gotta blow my nose after a sneeze. You guys are the lucky ones to hear it, and it's just the way it is. You, I mean, I could hit pause, but you know the uh, impact of that. So, anyhow, um, There's some, some regrets at the beginning of the month. There's some regrets. There's some sadness. Um, you have to make a choice, and it's not an easy one. Okay? So whatever this is, you know you already know what you need to do. And look at this. This is absolutely amazing. Okay? You do know what you need to do. It's whether you choose to trust your inner knowing, to trust your inner guidance, you know, um, trust your intuition because I'm telling you right now you are being guided to trust it two 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 do you know what twos mean faith and trust faith and trust and this is all about intuition have faith and trust in your intuition Aquarius because it is right on and this intuition is connected to you man or woman this is this is your sign and to your loss, your regrets, your rejections, your painful loss. Okay, so your intuition knows what to do. It's time to make a decision. Which way do you want to go? Left or right? 
it's time. I know that you've been putting it off, putting it off, putting it off, but it's time to make a decision. You can't put it off any longer. And the, you know, either way, the um, regret is still there, okay? It's still there no matter what. You have to work through it now. And you are going to work through it just fine. You are. You've learned something <laughs> big. You've learned something really big. It was a, You've learned some kind of lesson. I don't know where this is coming from, but you've learned some kind of lesson. Perhaps uh, somebody has walked away from you or you have walked away from them. I think somebody may have left you or, you know, it's either you or somebody, you know, has perhaps left you and left you alone, left you in isolation alone. Okay. And it's really caused you a lot of worry and havoc. It has. You're feeling insecure in every aspect of yourself. You're feeling insecure. And that is totally a sucky situation, a sucky feeling, okay? Um, and it's new. I mean, you usually don't feel like this. You usually don't. This is kind of something that's happened pretty quickly, all right? Pretty, pretty quickly. Something that happened and which has caused you to feel insecure. Perhaps there was a wake-up call that, um, yeah, it happened pretty quickly. There was an awakening. There was a wake-up call. Then it had to do with um, your wishes, okay? This wake-up call affected your happily ever after. It might have pushed you in another direction, a new direction. Probably, I mean, uh, we'll get more cards before I say anything else. But, um, there's a time of isolation, a time of going within, either being alone or feeling alone. Okay? Something has happened or it's going to happen because this is for July. Okay? Perhaps somebody's going to leave and they're going to choose to do it fast. All of a sudden, they're going to go to bed at night, or you're going to go to bed, or who knows what happens. This is a scenario, an example of a scenario. Um, they just they go to bed, and they think, you know what, I'm, not, I'm done. And they act on it when they get up in the morning. It's an awakening. It's that quick of an awakening. Okay, so it's either you or them. Because it's killing them, and, and it's affecting you. Oh, yes, it is. And it's affecting your security, big time. Anyway, some action is going to be taken. It is. And if I tap my fingernails, it's because that's what I do. And I don't want to hear any comments. Don't tap your fingernails. It's annoying. Well, then I suggest you hit stop right here and move on to the next video. Because I'm going to do what's comfortable for me. Just like you would do what's comfortable for you. That's the way it is. So I'm not saying, I'm not saying that to whoever. We have the rising signs that watch, watch this video and the moon signs and people cross watch. So whoever watches this video, you know, if I tap my nails or blow my nose or whatever, I'm human just like you. And I don't give a shit what society thinks and I never have. And I never will. So anyhow, um, that's who I am. I'm just responding to the comments before they come. Um... I see that you are in a period of insecurity. That's what's going on in July so far. There's insecurity. Perhaps somebody is leaving. Um, either it's you or another person. And it could happen very quickly. Okay? And it leaves you feeling very alone. Or this could be in the past. They've already left. You've been feeling alone. You know, you're waiting for your happily ever after. You've been waiting and you're sick of waiting. Okay? That could be the case. Over here we have, this is at the beginning of the month, you are going, you need to make a decision based on um, what you know, based on your intuition, doing what's right, doing the right thing, okay? Bringing out the truth. And when you do, it is like a load 
has been lifted off. Relief. You start to feel like, whew. <sighs> Even though there's pain or regret, there's relief, okay? And you start to ride tall. You start to sit tall. You feel proud that you were able to get this off your shoulders. Whatever it is, I don't know. I'm not sure what it is. But once you get it off, you feel a hell of a lot better. Um, we're going to get some of these for clarifiers. This is July 2017 for Aquarius. You could, you know, there should something could be... Um, there's a new adventure on the horizon. There's a new partnership of some sort, a new awakening that could that could um, start your start a new direction to happily ever after. And perhaps even right now, there's a little bit of um, lust. Okay, there's a little bit of a, uh, sexual craving with both of these cards right here. Okay. Could be with a fire sign. Aries. Uh, Sagittarius. Or Leo. And it, I mean, it could, there could be, an, it could be a new sex, new sex partner. This is July. there's been a love triangle I don't know I think there has I thought I saw that before I even pulled this card and this card generally means that to me and I was waiting for this card too um, but anyhow we'll get sometimes I can't talk because I got so many things coming so quick so if that happens I apologize but you would definitely see that from me like every reading how I can't get the words out it's because I got so much to say so fast and it's coming from every direction um there could have been a love triangle and now it's time now it's out in the open it's time to tell the truth or or uh, react to the truth okay it is and it could cause you know it's gonna cause probably this Somebody walking away. And this is the death card. The end of a phase or a situation. Time to move on. It's a transformation. It is. This is towards the middle of the month. A transformation. At the beginning of the month, you're, you're going to have to deal with it. Or you're going to want to to get rid of the load. Okay? You're going to want to let it go so that you can feel good again. You know, you just want to, you want to get rid of it. You know what the right thing is to do, and you know that you have to follow the path. Okay? You have to follow the, the right path. And you have to, you have to be ready for a new, new start. Okay? You have to be ready for a new start. You have these three ones now. One, one, one. Instant manifestation. That's what ones are. Instant manifestation. This is down towards, the, you know, the end. Once you release and you start your transformation, things start to move pretty quickly in a good direction. A great, a great direction. The inflow of abundance. A promising business venture. Important documents or contracts. It's an important venture, period. Okay? It's an awakening. It's an, it is, you know, it can be a new beginning with, with something else. It can be in business. It can be with a partner. I see a sexual energy here or a sexual draw, okay? It could be you putting that out. But I see that your power to manifest is very very big at this time it's being offered to you from the universe they're saying here 
here's this gift. What, what do you want? What do you want? Take it. Take the gift of manifestation and use it. Tell me what you want and believe and have faith and trust with these twos that I'm going to give it to you. That's what manifestation is. And when you really get that hope and faith that you will get, you start a major spiritual transformation. Major. You do. This is in July. Now, if this isn't in July, it could have already happened. This could have already happened. Could have happened who knows when. But recently, if you're watching this reading, it either has already happened to you or it is going to happen. It doesn't have to happen in July. It could happen in October. Just saying. It's meant for Aquarius at the time that it's right for them. Happy outcome, brilliant new ideas that lead to success. Have confidence in yourself. Have confidence in yourself, Aquarius. This card, and like I was saying, I was just talking about timing. And it's funny that this card came out. It was answering what I was saying. It was reacting to my words. So this should all start conspiring this summer. So what is this summer? June to September? end of September? I mean, what do you consider summer, Aquarius? This summer. This summer. July is definitely summer, so I mean, this summer. Happy outcome. After a time of decision making and following your intuition, even if it leads to sadness for a little bit, for a minute. Okay? Have confidence in yourself. Release. It's time. The end of a phase or situation. Somebody, this is a breakup, split up. Gifts of money over here. Time or effort. New career opportunities, receiving a loan or paying off debts. I, ha I see a lot about um, career, okay? So this could be career-based, all right? It totally, 100% could be. <coughs> Perhaps you're moving from one position to another. Perhaps you're moving up. Perhaps somebody is leaving, which gives you the opportunity to move up into that spot. And your insecurity goes away. And you start a transformation. You're starting to feel really good because you've been recognized for your hard work. You know, and again, that would be in the summertime. Okay. The whole manifestation thing stays the same. You have the ability. If that's what you're looking for, you have the ability to manifest it with faith and trust. Perhaps you needed to, de to decide which work path to take. Okay, do you want to head this direction or do you want to uh, start your own business? I mean, this is just an example. What is it? You know, whatever it is, you need to make the decision. And even if you are will be sad over leaving your past job or you might think you're going to have regrets or you just don't know what's going to happen, you know, it's scary. You need to follow your intuition and you need to go with it. Okay. Your intuition is right on key. Have faith and trust in yourself. You know what to do. You know what to do. You definitely do. And your your power to manifest is big. There's plenty of prosperity and abundance and stability and security here. I think there's some sex too, just saying. <laughs>
by golly. And look what just came out. Your unexpected choice in love is part of your spiritual transformation. It is. This is where I put it. I could have put it over here. I could have put it here. I could have put it anywhere. I put it right here. It's part of your transformation. And it's part of this walking away. Intimate relationships. Carefully weigh your decisions. Good health. This is an unexpected choice in love. Okay? Something that draws you in so powerfully. Powerful. It's so powerful that you cannot... Um, back off from it. You can't. You can't walk away. I see. Look at them. They are so in love. Look at those two people. They are. There's nothing that can tear them apart. Nothing. But they didn't know each other. They didn't know this until it happened, and it happened so quick. I mean, it's an unexpected choice in love. Okay, it's not what you think it is. It's not. You intended to go another way, you know? But this this pull came in all of a sudden and pulled you in another. And the pull was so strong that you couldn't say no. That's what the lovers are. I mean, that's what a lover is. This is July, supposed to be July. That's consider it more like summer, considering this. Okay, summer. You have some work to do. You do, you have some work to do. You have to really decide which path you want to go down. Something needs to be brought to truth. You okay, okay, something needs to be bought, brought to the truth, brought out into the open with confidence. You know, you need to speak up, say what it is that's killing you. You know, that's worrying you and that's eating you up. You need to bring it out. Talk about it. Get it over with. All right. You know, maybe there's been some cheating or a love triangle or something. You know, and there's been some rejection or you've had some reject uh, regrets. Okay. But there's nothing to worry about. There isn't. There really isn't. Let go of the worries and just let it come out. Because as soon as you let it come out, you start to feel good. It's like immediate relief. What's that? Uh, you know, like that Rolaids commercial? <laughs> anyway, that's what it is. It's immediate relief. You keep, you've been holding it and it's time to make a decision and just spit it out. Jesus, no, that's bugging me. King of Cups. Oh, see, I knew it. I did. With this right here. I think it's somebody new with this sex that I was seeing. And I didn't want to say anything until I got more cards. Remember that at the beginning? Falling in love or wedding proposals, the need to balance emotions, an invitation to a social event. Falling in love with somebody you don't expect, perhaps? And the poll was so close and, you know, maybe, you know, you know. This is an awakening. A wake up. You have to follow your own truth. Don't don't you forget it. Do what's right for you. With that high priestess, it's seeing the situation completely clearly. Okay, honest communication. Um, following your intuition, using your inner knowledge to help you express the truth. And that's under, under here. 
Okay, so some kind of truth needs to come out or has come out, which is affecting your security. You know, you're in, you're feeling insecure at this point, but you really don't need to because you take care of yourself so well. All right, but perhaps there's going to be a split. And there could be somebody new after the split. There, there definitely is somebody new after the split. This isn't who you're splitting with. This is the new person down here that you're all lovey-dovey can't, you know. That's, that's the new person, not the one that you're with now. Or you were with. This is the new person. It could be somebody that you um, are with now. That you are so, so, so connected with. Like I said, this could have already happened. But I see this as somebody new. Somebody new. A new love that makes you um, giddy. You know, act foolish like butterflies. Do you have some butterflies for somebody, Aquarius? That's your future. Whoever gives you the butterflies, that should help you make your decision. Oh. No, you can apply this however you wish to love or work. I, I think it could apply both ways. I consider this more, um, it could really go both ways, but I think it's more of a, um, relationship reading put it that way so it could be relationship with work it could work both ways that's for sure but this is what I have for Aquarius for July um, I hope you enjoyed the reading um, just remember that if you book a reading from me and I tell you I'm gonna do it on this is an example July 7th I tell you I'm gonna do it on July 7th and at July 7th at 5 p.m. you send me an email where's my reading <laughs> well, it's July 7th, still, it's only 5 p.m., um, and your reading might not even be recorded yet, because I have probably 10 other readings on that day, okay? And then, once I get it recorded, it does say in the email how long it could take, 12 to 18 hours to download, but I don't think anybody even reads that far. Okay, so once it's recorded and I put it in the download queue with all the other ones that are downloading, you know, it goes in the queue. And it goes into download. And I, I got a new box from my inter internet provider last week. Didn't do a damn bit of good. None. All right. So it could take uh, nine hours to download or it could take 15 hours to download or worse yet. It could take a day, and there's not a damn thing that I can do about it. I have high-speed internet, okay? I don't know what to tell you. Um, so, yes, please be patient with me. Please. You know, I, when I tell you I'm going to do something, I do it. If, I, if you book a reading... And I tell you, you are, you're on my schedule. You are on my schedule. And you're going to get it on as soon as I can, around the time I told you. Okay? It will be recorded on the day I told you, but you might not get it. It seems like two days later, because if it takes 24 hours to download, there is nothing I can do. So, just rest assured that it's on the way. Alright? And, um... God bless.